All right, let's do this one last time. My name is Peter Parker, and for the past 10 months, I've been the sensational Spider-Man. I'm pretty sure you know the rest. I was bitten by a radioactive spider, which gave me the abilities of a spider. Then I used those abilities in a wrestling match to try to win money to buy a PlayStation 5. Then after the wrestling match, my uncle was killed, and I decided to use my powers to track down the man who killed him. I thought that he died, but then he came back a few months later dressed in a scorpion costume, but that's besides the point. After stopping the man who killed my uncle, I decided I'd use my powers to help people rather than hurt them, and that resulted in me fighting some pretty interesting characters, like a guy in a rhinoceros onesie, a guy made of bees, my girlfriend's adopted dad, myself, and my teacher. And on top of all of that, I got my heart broken, my face broken, my bedroom broken, and my best friend broken. But you know what? I wouldn't trade it for anything. Because I am the one and only Spider-Man. And I always will be. Still not used to that. Now I should probably. Whoa! Th this universe is a lot faster and smoother than mine. I need to find my variant fast so I can get out of here. Whoa, what was that? Now you make sure you've actually got money next time I try to rob you. Oh, uh, hey, Shocker. Now who said my name? Oh, it's, it's just you. You know, Spider-Man, I've been waiting to show you my new Sonic gauntlets. Looks like you brought me a fancy new suit to test them out on. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Huh, well that's new. Ow, looks like your new suit's got more features than the old one. Oh! You done yet? Hold on, let me catch my breath. Wait, what? What is it? You out of your stupid quips? It can't be. Dr. Connors, you're Shocker? Did I hit you too hard or something? Who's Dr. Connors? Shocker! Leave that clearly very rich cosplayer alone! What did he just call me? Well, that explains why you don't know who I am. You ain't even the real Spider-Man. Hold on, I'm coming! Oh, ow. Montana, why can't you just wait your turn? Why can't you just stop interfering with all the stuff I- Hey, are you okay, man? Yeah, just not used to shocker firing lasers. Well, that was a weird way to say that, but all right. Looks like I got here right on time. Oh, hey, there you are, Cap'n. Wait, are you Captain Stacy? Yes, why? Oh, you're just younger than I thought you'd be. Oh, well, uh, thank you. Well, it looks like you've got everything covered here, so I'm gonna get going. See ya, Captain. Wait, come back! Ooh, I am so tired of running into Montana all the time. Hold on, I need to talk to you. Oh, great. Look, man, I am honored that you're so inspired by me that you found a way to replicate my powers in an admittedly way cooler suit than mine. But this is seriously dangerous, and I don't think you want any part of that. I know how dangerous this is. I've been doing it longer than you, Peter. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. What did you just call me? Peter? You are Peter Parker, right? <laughs> Peter Parker? Who, who, who's that? I know who you are, and you from another universe. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> You're actually being serious? Like, like you genuinely expect me to believe that? Y yeah, D do you want me to take off my mask or something? I mean, go ahead, if you really want to. 
Okay. <laughs> See? I'm you. <laughs> you know you're just making this harder to believe. What are you talking about? Well, maybe I'd believe you if you actually looked anything like me. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah, you look nothing like I was expecting. Is there any way to make you believe me? Well, I guess if we got a DNA test that said we were the exact same person, I'd believe you then. Okay, well, Iron Man could probably do that. I'm sorry, who? Y you know, genius, billionaire, playboy, philanthropist Tony Stark? The guy that ate out of Norman Osborn's trash? What? No! D do you not have Iron Man in this universe? Well, I don't think so. I've never heard of an Iron Man until just now. Okay, uh, what about Mr. Fantastic? I have no idea who that is. Okay, whatever. Uh, what about Doctor Strange? He's a sorcerer, but he used to be a surgeon. Are these supposed to be real people? Jeez, man, who do you have in this universe? Do, do you know any scientists that can help with this? Um... Oh, Dr. Connors. Oh, yeah, I know him. Uh, let's go to him. Yeah, of course. I'll take you to him. Dr. Connors, yes? You've got some company. Ah, Peter, it's so nice to see you again. And you are? Okay, it looks like... Oh, wait, Dr. Connors, wait! Oh, Dr. Connors, what happened to you? He claims to be me from another universe. Really? That's incredible. I'm not so sure I believe him, though, so I was wondering if you could do a DNA test to prove it. Yes, of course. Uh, go have a seat on those tables over there. Max, can you go draw the blood while I get the test set up? Sure thing, Dr. Connors. Wait, Max? Yeah. Wait, what's your last name? I'm not sure I should, um... Is it Dylan? Sorry, it's just, in my universe, Max Dylan is... Electro. Yeah, I was. Luckily, Dr. Connors here was able to make me a cure and give me a second chance. I don't believe it. What is it? Norman and I studied the multiverse theory for years, but found no tangible evidence. But you are living, breathing proof of it. So he's telling the truth? Every word. If you're from another universe, why are you here? Look, I was sent here because there's this big threat to the multiverse that I need your help with. Okay, I'll help, but first I gotta tell Harry about all this and give an excuse to Aunt May for why I'm gone. So, if I'm hearing this right, you are also Peter, but from an alternate dimension? I, I mean, yeah, that, that, that's it. Even though you two look completely different? Well, you know, there are infinite universes, so there are infinite possibilities. This universe just happens to look nothing like mine. So, Peter, why are you here? So, basically, there's this group called the Inheritors who, like, eat Spider-Mans, and they're going around the multiverse and putting things into the wrong universe, which is causing, like, everything to fall apart, so I need your Spider-Man's help to stop them. Wait, you're going to another universe? What if something happens to you and I don't even know because you're in a different dimension than me? I'll be fine, Harry. I promise I'll come back. Don't make promises you can't keep, Peter. But those are the best kind. You are not making me feel any better. Hey, Harry. Crap, it's my dad. Harry, have you seen my briefcase anywhere? I'm going to go look at a house, and I don't want to just leave it laying around because it's got a lot of important stuff in it. No, I don't think I've seen it. Well, I have to go. If you do find it, just put it somewhere safe. I can't let anything happen to it. Sure thing, Dad. All right, well, I'll see you when I get home, Harry. Oh, and um, don't mess anything up. I don't want to pay for it. Wait, was that Norman Osborn? Yeah, why does it matter? He's just a bit skinnier than in my universe. Hello, this is J. Jonah Jameson with breaking news coming straight from the Daily Bugle. This one-eyed tentacled monster is climbing the building. I have a feeling this is Spider-Man's doing, but I cannot prove it just yet. I advise that everyone stay away from the building unless you're like me and you are stuck inside. Didn't you say that those Inheritor people were, like, mixing and matching things from different universes like Mr. Potato Head? Well, that's not how I'd put it, but yeah, pretty much. 
Well, you know, as someone who is from this universe, that isn't. Okay, so what do you want to do about it? Well, we gotta suit up and try to stop it, I guess. Okay, then let's do that. Wait, what are those? They're, they're my web shooters. What for? We're not fighting Electro. What does that have to do with Electro? Whoa! Th that came out of you! Yeah. <laughs> you can't do that, huh? Uh, no! Uh, how do you even do that? Guys, we're getting distracted. Oh, yeah, right. Sorry. Uh, Peter, do you have a plan? Yeah. We're gonna fight him, and weaken him until he's too tired to fight anymore, and then figure out what to do with him from there. Well, the, that plan sucks, but I guess it's better than nothing. Hello, Spider-Man! What was that? I don't know, it's just some weird thing I used to do. I was trying to do it again, I thought it might be cool. Yeah, maybe don't do that, that was kind of weird. Uh, okay, whatever, I won't do that again, but can you tell me why we're standing on top of the Statue of Liberty's head? Right in front of the Statue of Liberty. Oh, this is just like a replica they're building for tourists to take pictures with. Well, that seems kind of pointless. Yup. So how's this Lovecraftian creature gonna know where we are? I called him. I'm sorry, you what?! Well, since Jameson was at the Bugle, I called him and had him give the phone to him. Wait, it talks?! Yeah, he said his name's Gargantos. Okay. So, um, what are some of the craziest villains you fought? Oh, that's a good question, actually. I mean, I fought this big purple alien with magic rocks one time. Now that I think about it, I think I fought a lot of aliens. I want to fight an alien? That sounds awesome. Right. So, uh, what villains have you fought? Well, mine are gonna sound lame compared to yours. I fought this guy made out of bees a couple of times. Oh, no way. I actually fought a guy like that recently. He was from another universe, though. Wait, did he wear a purple fedora and cape and have a voice that's, like, impossible to understand? Yeah. Yeah, that was him. So, you fight anybody else? I fought this guy dressed like General Grievous with a gun. Huh? Yeah, he was on this team called the Insidious Six full of a bunch of other weird villains, like this mutant whose mutation made him look and sound like Cookie Monster. Wow. This universe is really weird. Come on, you can't tell me there aren't any weird, unexplainable things that have happened in your universe. Hmm. Okay, Sam, man, what do you have? I'm gonna trap you in a set of... Oh, so you punch me with your sand, huh? Well then, how about this little random fire's coming in? Ah! Ah! Oh, no, not glass again, seriously. Nobody knows where he is to this day. And, um, Phil, is that it? Phil, is that it for this video? I, I, I need to know, like... Should, should we keep doing this, or is that pretty much it for all we know about it? What, what do you mean this? that's all we know about Captain America? That's just... What? Phil, are, are you serious? Yeah, man, I'm serious. What? Uh, 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 uh. I, I just thought we'd know more, I mean... Oh yeah, I'd start driving. Bob, what happened to my car? I let a wild animal drive it. I, I'm sorry, sir. You let an animal drive my car? Yeah. What kind of animal? Um, I don't... Why are we letting a puny human do stuff? Ugh, yeah, you must really be humans. In disguise, you go, sir, because you are probably a robot. Deadpool, yeah, look, it's a unicorn! <gasps> what is the unicorn? Unicorn! Oh, so it is. Wait, where'd you get- mm, Nope, not that I can think of. Huh. Hey, you said there were other heroes in your universe, right? Yeah, what about them? Like, how many? Oh, well, too many to count, I don't know. Wow, it seems like it'd just be kind of excessive at that point. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm actually on a team of my own with my three friends. Whoa, really? Oh, yeah, well, there's Harry, who in my universe is this really cool hero called the Black Knight. There's my clone, Ben, and then my girlfriend is a hero called White Tiger. Wait, White Tiger? Is that, like, your dimension's version of Black Cat? And I got one of those in my universe, too. Wait a minute, are you telling me you're dating Black Cat? Well, I did. I'm not anymore. Isn't she, like, ten years older than you? No, she's, like, a few months older than me, but that's it. Oh, I guess she's just older in my universe. So why'd you two break up? She cut off Tombstone's arm, basically skinned his face, and slit his throat. Oh, that's a fair reason. 
I guess you sense that too? Yeah. Behold, it is I, Gargantos, the old killer of the dawn, conqueror of midnight, the destroyer, the devourer god of the eternal ever was, the father of all evil, sent here by the vile Morlun to prepare you for his arrival. By prepare us, do you mean like the hey, this is about to happen kind, or like the preparing dinner kind? You think this is a joke, Totem? No, not really. I just use comedy to calm myself in scary and intense situations. You will be fast. Put him down, Polyphemus. What? I don't think he understood your reference. Ugh, whoa. Hey, Spider-Man, you mind helping me out here? All right, Spider-Man, I got an idea. STAB HIM IN THE EYE! Ah, oh, my eye! Ah, oh, oh, my eye! So, what do we do with him now? Excuse me, if I might interrupt. My name is Storm. I am a member of the X-Men, and the Professor sent me here to contain this multiversal creature. So I will be taking it off your hands. Yeah, that'd be great, thank you. Okay, let's go get that excuse for Aunt May. Y you know You're going all the way to Florida to take pictures for the Bugle? Yeah, this is an opportunity that I can't pass up. I'll only be gone a couple of weeks, I promise. Well, I guess as long as you promise to stay safe, you can go. I will. Thank you so much, Aunt May. Have fun, Peter. And you too, um... P peter Oh, okay. Peter? All right, you ready to go? Ready as I'll ever be. And then I looked up and there he was, just hopping from roof to roof. <sighs> you are a sorry excuse for Harry Osborne. What are you talking about? In almost every other universe, Harry Osborn is a formidable adversary to Spider-Man. Usually, he's a goblin of some kind, or on rare occasions, Venom. But you... You just suck! What was that supposed to mean?